Hello. Today is the 12th anniversary of the foundation of Bagland Community Church. And it's the first time I won't be there physically in person to enjoy the celebrations. You may be wondering how that makes me feel. Actually, it makes me feel very confident in the God who founded this church. Because all those years ago, when we were actually planning the church, putting together its constitution, its vision statement, doing the practical things, God knew that today I wouldn't be there. So you may be wondering, well, how does that make you feel, Rob? I really feel confident because the God that knew I wouldn't be there today also knew that then. And I remember being so excited about being used by God. There were three couples, my wife Karen, myself, Pastor Neil Tallamy, his wife Hannah, and Andrew and Helen Wood. And I can still vividly remember the first night, the night before we opened the church, and uh, everyone had gone, and Neil and I were the last people to, to lock up the rented building we had. I just had an overwhelmed sense that the next day God was going to save someone and bring someone back close to God. And he did it. He saved someone and he brought someone back home. And that person's probably in the church this morning. So how should that make you feel? Confident. Very confident. You see, the church is not this wonderful building that we now have. The church is you. And the church is me. Just because I'm not there today physically, trust me. I'm there. We are the church. Now, you may be, may be thinking, that's fine for you, Rob, but... Uh, I don't feel particularly spiritual as a Christian, I don't feel particularly useful. I feel the least qualified person to be here. Let me tell you, if you were the only person who belonged to Badland Community Church, the gates of hell would be trembling this morning. And that's on the word of God. Because the weakest Christian frightens the devil. Be under no illusion. You are the biggest threat to the powers of darkness in this town. You are kings and queens and heirs to the throne of heaven. You are vital to the growth of this church. We spend a lot of time thinking of the vision statement of the church. And if you've never read it, can I encourage you to go to the church's website and read it. There's a lot I could say this morning, but I don't want to say too much more. Just want to encourage you. If you belong to this body, this wonderful body of church, remember one thing. This church is founded and focused on the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because that is the cornerstone, the foundation of what we stand for as a church. We've seen an awful lot of people come to this church. Some people have gone. But everyone has been affected. Not by us. But what we stand for. If you're going through a tough time in the church at the moment and you're feeling that uh, it's almost too much to bear, let me encourage you. I'm with you. I'm with you this morning. I'm with you in spirit. But more importantly, Jesus Christ, your saviour, my saviour, the person that when I was planning this church with the others all those years ago said, Rob's not going to be there on, on that anniversary. But it's fine. Because that's how confident I am that God is growing this church. This church is going to make such a difference in the community of Port Albert. If you're wondering how can that happen, well... Just go back to the 1904 revival. One man, Evan Roberts, praying every night. Now, coincidentally, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. 
um, walking every night with God speaking to him. One man being faithful and true turned the nation upside down, brought thousands to Christ. You, if you get behind your pastor and the leaders, can make a massive difference. One last thing. When we were planning this church, our pastor needle tell me was a young man filled with the Holy Spirit and a passion to see people changed and saved. And all these years later, he is still that same man. And I urge you, get behind him, love him, support him and his family, and also the leaders. Being a leader of the church, I can tell you it's a hard job and sometimes as a, as a congregation we can forget that but I do urge you this is Jesus Christ's church it's not Neil's church it's not the leader's church it's not my church it's not even your church it's Jesus's church he will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail thanks for watching